Hey guys, my name is Ryan and welcome to Overwatch Central. So recently there was a dev update with Jeff Kaplan talking about 2018 and the new kind of content that we're going to get. Essentially, it doesn't really say anything. It's more of a polite pop round for a brew and let you know how things are going on their end. They spoke about competitive, new heroes and all that stuff, but didn't really give away too many details. But the response I saw from a lot of this really highlights a bit of a problem with the community currently and it's been brewing for some time. And I think the recent performance based SR changes I'm going to really enjoy saying that word throughout this video. I'm somewhat involved in that and really sum up what I want to say, I suppose. So season 8 is in full swing at this point in time. We have the Mercy and Junkrat changes on the PTR. Whether these changes actually go live into the game is up for debate right now, especially the Mercy ones, considering it says in the patch notes that they're going to iterate these changes further. With that said, Season 8 probably started off just as bad as any other season, with some people saying that it was a lot worse than even the start of Season 7. Nothing had changed, and with all of the stuff that we've spoken about with the placement games, the video that we went over where it's kind of exploitable, I suppose, and with no further information on these two heroes that were causing a lot of problems in competitive, it looked like 2018 was going to start off in the same shitty way that season 7 did. However, the changes are on the PTR and it seems that we're in full swing to seeing Blizzard taking a much stronger approach onto competitive. Now, in terms of games, this last week has actually been really good. Being able to log in onto your game, seeing that the reports that you've put through on toxic players have gone through and they've been banned. With even players being less likely to pick up the Mercy, even though Mercy right now is the kind of hero that you need to go with, I've had a lot of games where we've just been running Ana, Moira, Zen, even Lucio's come back to a degree and still won games because I think people know that these changes are on the horizon so it's more of a chilled out relaxed atmosphere that competitive is in now but I did want to start off and ask you guys what you think of season 8 so far bits of these videos were noted down and scripted last week and it was a much different feel of a video than it would be this time around but I'm feeling much more hopeful with the game because of these changes and I think with a stronger report system in performance based SR being removed a lot more focus on the underdog and higher SR teams in matchups meaning a lot more but generally I did want to know before we really get started what you guys think in the comments below and with the Overwatch League starting this week as well everything's kind of coming into a nice sort of area so for the first time in a while Overwatch is looking rather hopeful However, I do want to talk about the performance-based SR issues that I think long-term is really going to hinder the game. And it's been difficult to find an opportunity to talk about this because everybody's talking about the personal-based SR changes in more of a positive light. So the players below Diamond don't get to experience this change at all. Whilst it's understandable why personal-based SR exists in the lower tiers, essentially when you have a Smurf and you'll place, they'll most likely place around low Platinum if it hasn't quite worked out where you belong yet. But being honest, you can have Smurfs in Diamond roughing stuff up if they're a top 500 player. Player. Still a problem there, it's going to be a problem across all the tiers. However, the thing that I absolutely hate at this point is the fact that only a portion of the audience has access to these changes that on the face of it seem godlike. With what I said about the community amping up these changes by saying that they're amazing, it must be difficult to be a lower tier player seeing this, an outsider looking in almost, with players talking about this change fixing the game completely. It's it's like gold and below tiers only having access to roll queue. Whilst there might be a really good reason to why that may be, it still doesn't change the fact that a portion of the audience, a big one no less, have no access to a quality of life change that the community have been asking for for months. And this really builds that resentment, elitism and bitterness that is already in Overwatch between the higher tiers and the lower ones. And I think when you have changes like this that only half the community can get less than half, it's only going to make this worse and worse. And the bitterness between both the tiers of players is going to get a lot worse. I do see in the future these changes to personal base tests are being scrapped at the lower tiers as well. But I do see it more of Blizzard tried it out with the higher tiers, see how it goes, and then making it across all of the tiers themselves. Now I want to go of what Jeff Kaplan said about starting seasons with changes. This is something that he said in the developer update that went out recently. And I mean, he's not wrong. The first one of these changes is personal based SR being scrapped. That happened at the start of the season. We all knew it was coming. But it's kind of unlucky when Jeff Kaplan says this, that it's during a busy holiday period that people from Blizzard weren't going to be in the offices between season seven finishing and season eight starting. But this kind of behavior, something that we've almost expected from Blizzard. It's kind of straightforward and obvious that they would do this since the season length was shortened, but we've never really had it. A perfect instance of them getting it right is as soon as season seven had finished, the PTR loads up with some changes that they may want to try out and Blizzard just need to be transparent and say, yeah, these changes are 99% likely to go through unless we really see some problems with it. Or these ones are just us mucking about with Junkrat or Mercy or May or whatever, just being honest about that stuff because it's really difficult for the community to really get context to 
these changes almost. We did eventually get these changes, but it does look like we will see Mercy Junkrat changes on the live servers halfway through season eight. So it gets a bit muddled, I suppose. But Miska did a video last week talking about why this is the case and why balance patches during a busy period like the Overwatch League starting is just gonna cause a lot more issues than it's worth. So that may explain why it's taken some time for Mercy and Junkrat to actually be changed. In terms of hero balance, toxicity, and the reported features working a lot stronger with Blizzard seeing that most coming to the table, who really knows what season 8 and 9 are going to bring us. But this could be the best season yet. But really, I just feel bad for anybody low in a diamond that doesn't get to try out these changes. It doesn't matter what the changes are at the end of the day. It's the fact that only the highest tiers get these and the grass is always greener on the other side. So you can kind of expect a little bit of resentment and bitterness because of this happening. And I can fully understand that. But let me know what you think, what you think of the personal base this are changes. I told you I'd love saying that word in the comments below, whether you've had good or bad experiences with them. And just let me know what you think of the whole idea of diamonds and below not being able to experience these changes. But thanks for watching, take care, we'll see you next time.